Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and I'm very happy to be here with you today with another marathon reading. So this one is just going to be a general. Let's just see what messages are wanting to come through for you Pisces. This is good for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus placements. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for clicking on this video. It means the world to me. And if you are not yet subscribed, I invite you to subscribe so you can get on to all the other readings. For those of you that are not aware, we did the Pisces Marathon this weekend. So there's a lot of videos, short readings with different themes that you're going to find in the channel if you want to, you know, go look for those. So this one is just going to be a general. Universe, what is it that Pisces needs to know right now? What is it that Pisces needs to know? Remember, take what resonates with you. Leave the rest behind. Not everything is going to be for you. Some messages are going to be for other Pisces watching. Right now, it seems like there is a lot of potential here that you have that may be underutilized, Pisces. Because you think that you're not capable of doing something. Maybe you think that you're not good enough to pursue a certain dream. But the cards here, Spirit is saying, mm -mm. you are so much more capable than you realize. You are so much more smarter, talented, stronger than you realize. This card, Eight of Swords, is always talking about self-imposed limitation. That... Those limitations that feel very real, that we convince ourselves of, that we come to the conclusion of, you know, that being the case because of past experiences. For example, let's say that, um, I don't know, I failed a bunch of tests in math, so I assume that I'm terrible in math, therefore I'm never going to pursue anything that has to do with math, okay? Important. Just because that happened doesn't mean necessarily that you can't change your circumstances. I'm sure that if you were to focus, put your mind into it, do the efforts that it takes, you can change your reality. It doesn't have to be a given thing, okay? And the same goes for different areas. Obviously, the math thing is just an example. Um, but there is so much, Pisces, that you think you can't do. And you can. You so can. Spirit is saying that right now, a wonderful exercise for you would be the cookie jar exercise, which is um, from this book by David Goggins, um, You Can't Hurt Me or something like that. Um, and it's basically a list of all of the things that you have accomplished that you feel proud of. A full list of the difficulties you have endured, the traumas you have gotten over, you know, the, I don't know, the prizes you have won, the medals you have achieved, I don't know, whatever, earned, you know, all the things that, big or small, for others, are important to you, that's what matters. The things that you know that you manage to make happen. Making a list of that and seeing it often is going to kind of like remind you of the power that you actually have, Pisces, because you have a lot of power. I'm not sure exactly when Pisces you stop believing in yourself uh, I, I feel like there's a crowd here and and you guys know that you can do anything but at some point you decided like no you know what I I shouldn't do anything I don't want to do anything I don't want to accomplish anything I don't know it's like there's some kind of like moment in which some of you snapped and stop believing in yourselves. It may have something to do with the opinions of others. You know, maybe someone here said something, acted on something, made fun of you. I don't know. It's like something may have happened that had to do with um, perspectives from other people and opinions from other people. And it may have just somehow... Flip the switch and you stop believing in yourself and your ability to do anything. Everything is possible, Pisces. Remain in your balance. 
Take care of your emotional center. Remain in your emotional center, Pisces. Focus on the alchemical process that is happening within you. However your life looks right now, chances are every day you wake up and you strive to do better. Some days are harder than others, but you're trying. Everyone is looking for something, right? Everyone is hoping for something. And I feel like it's important for you to understand that what's happening within you is a process. Kind of like how coal transforms into diamonds, right? With the right pressure and like ages, right? That alchemical process, that change is happening within you as well somehow. The equivalent of that. And Spirit is saying, just because you don't see necessarily everything manifested already doesn't mean that it's not happening. This message goes specifically for those of you who are working a lot on your routines, your habits, really trying to, through little steps, um, doing better and better for yourself. For those of you who are in that continuous journey of improvement, Spirit is saying, you know, don't worry. Things are changing. Things are happening. It's like the bamboo thing, you know, that you plant the bamboo seeds and nothing comes out of the soil for like a long time. And you think that nothing, nothing is happening. And then all of a sudden, I think it's like in one night or something, like the whole thing sprouts up. Probably not one night, but I don't know. Something like that. I don't know. Don't, don't quote me on that. But do the research. It's That's kind of like what I see here. You have moments of breakthroughs that are like massive. And you have other moments in which it seems like nothing is happening. It seems like you're putting all the effort, you're doing all the things, and nothing seems to be changing. But then all of a sudden, there's this like massive breakthrough again. And all of that comes in. And it's like cyclical for some of you. Some of you are these beautiful like white unicorns but it's like you have painted like stripes to look like a zebra <laughs> and sort of with the with the aim or the desire of being more like common or like go under the radar or something and spirit is saying here you are a beautiful huge white unicorn you know, no amount of stripes is going to make you look like a zebra, you know? So own it. It's like own your power, own your light, own your magnificence, Pisces. There is someone around you here that is trying to make a choice. They're trying to make a decision. This is someone who's very well protected, but they're not clear. So this person is very powerful, very strong, but it seems like they don't know what is right. Their moral compass seems to be influ influenced by different people, and it's gotten to a point in which they don't know how they feel. They don't know what they think about a certain situation. They don't know what's right and what's wrong. Things are going to be playing out in such a way, Pisces, that those stripes are going to be flaking off, falling off. And it's, it's, it's inevitable for you to be seen as the unicorn that you are. It's like you can delay it, you can pretend that you're not good enough, you can pretend that you can't do things. Because then you can choose not to try, right? But at the end of the day, Pisces, those things you want, you can make them happen. So if you choose not to make them happen, let that be a conscious choice. Don't say that, oh, you know, I'm not going to go for it because I can't. No. If you're not going to go for it, maybe it's because you don't want to go for it. Because you are lazy right now or something. I don't know, whatever. But you know what I'm saying? It's like... Say it as it is. If you're scared to go after something, then you're scared of going after something. Because Pisces, you can do it. 
you want to live from that hobby, you want to live that kind of life, you want to you want to have this kind of business, you can do it. You are this unicorn and honestly it's kind of lame to be painting those stripes on yourself and pretending to be a zebra. <laughs> it's kind of lame Pisces. Like you you were not to, you were not meant to be a zebra. You were meant to be this magnificent unicorn for a reason. Very interesting, Pisces. So, I mean, from what I understand, the conscious mind tends to want improvement and change. The subconscious mind tends to want to keep us safe, right? Alongside fears. It seems like you have these desires and hopes, and it seems like they're possible for you. But there is this like comfort zone that some of you don't want to get out of. It's easier to be one of the many zebras, part of a pack, you know, not raising any eyebrows, than to be the one unicorn in the whole country or something. You know, it's like some of you are being choosing to be a small fish in a small pond. When you could be the biggest fish in the biggest pond, if that makes sense. There are so many people, Pisces, doing what you do to like incredibly mediocre standards and having so much fame and having so much income just because they blindly believe in themselves. You have what it takes. You have more than what it takes. But it's like you're lacking self... Um, recognition, almost. So let this just be a space to contemplate your ideas. Let this be food for thought. Ask yourself, why is it that I don't want to be that unicorn. What is so scary about being that unicorn? And when you find that out, it may be easier to admit or accept that those things that you want, if you put your mind to them, and if you don't quit, and if you do what it takes, you can make them happen. So let's explore instead, why wouldn't you want that? Like, why would you keep that from yourself? I hope that this makes sense, Pisces. I hope that this reading serves you. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know if it resonated with you at all. I hope it did. And shine bright, Pisces. Shine bright like a diamond. I love you so much. Um, if you have any ghost stories that you'd like to share, I'm doing a compilation for Halloween. So you can send a short little video or a text uh, of your story to the email info at gmail.com if you like. Um, you can also check out the channel Manifestology, in which I'm going to be sharing a lot of um, hacks and meditations and EFT tapping videos and all sorts of things to basically help implement what we see here in the readings. And last but not least, remember you can book your 2025 personalized forecast with an early bird discount and option to pay in two or three payments if you do it now. So everything will be in the description box below. Alrighty. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.